strategy could be a coordinated attack glacial catalyst support healer that will be able to work with Jinshi better while power creeping Baiju. That's my call. Subscribe, please. Ben, welcome to the to the to the to the video. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Anyway, uh, today I kind of want to just quickly go over the new drip marketing we got for Watering Waves. We have confirmation of the next characters incoming in the game. So first and foremost, let's look into this here. And as you can see, the first character that was dropped is JG. Uh, we haven't met her before. So that's really interesting. Excuse my big tail. It's just flopping around like a like a tail. And uh, okay, so what does it say here? It says, Post Lament and Tropocene star intertwined. What I wanted to say is the sunlight on you right now is so beautiful. Can I paint you? Jeje is a commissioned painter, quiet and shy with dedication to her craft. She's not very eloquent, but her persistence and love for painting speaks volume. Ooh. 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 Okay. So we've got a shy girl who loves to paint. So it's kind of like a shy, nerdy girl who loves to paint. Uh, very dedicated, dedicated to her craft. Holy crap, talking is hard. Okay, so she's very cute. I kind of like her design. Um, the cute glasses. Um, I like the eye colors. It actually reminds me of Firefly. Like the and, um, and also March 7th, right? With the, the mix of... Uh, pink and um, cyan. cyan. Also, uh, I really like the, the tip hair being pink. Uh, that's actually something I wanted to have, like white hair with tip pink hair. It's really cute. Uh, I like the colors, like blue, pink, a little bit of yellow. Yellow is one of my good colors. This one is not too flashy, so I kind of like it. We do have some darker shade of red here. This box looks very cute. I assume this is where she has like her, her brushes and stuff like that. Uh, I do like the writing here. It looks like some mantra, right? Uh, so I think she's very, very adorable. Also, up here we can see her rarity is actually got to be 5 star. Um, this is something we've seen in the past. When they do drip marketing, when they showed Baijiu, there was actually only 3 star here and 1 star there. So this probably means that this is a 5 star because all the 5 star were like this. So that's really awesome. I think she actually looks very adorable. I'm looking forward to learn more about her and see how shy she is. Because I think there's a... I think there's sometimes some annoying level of shy. Uh, but sometimes the too much shy gets counterbalanced by something else. For example, I think Huo Huo works well because she's very shy, but she gets to bounces off. She bounces off of uh, tail, right? So I think this works well because there is this good um, counterbalancing effect with Tail. Meanwhile, if Wu Hu was just like super shy like this, I think it would might get a little bit annoying. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I love Wu Hu. Probably not. I would forgive her anything. She's my daughter. Uh, JG, I'm really looking forward to it. Actually, what I'm most looking forward to is her animation. Because she's a painter, I assume she's going to do a lot of things with a brush. Right? So I could see her doing like some super cool painting animation. I'm thinking uh, Grizio from Hong Kong Impact 3rd. And I think that could be absolutely awesome. Now, um, what kind of weapon or... Okay, weapon, I think it's definitely going to be... I'm thinking Catalyst, right? Uh, the reason why I think Catalyst is simply because I think that would allow her to do more painting motion than with another weapon. I could argue that maybe Sword could work, but I'm not super sure. Um, I feel like Catalyst might be the best, um, especially if like she's shy. I feel like she's probably going to be more of a support character. Um, I could see her being like a catalyst, heal catalyst healer, which I would rather she not be because we already have Verena and Baija, who both are catalyst 
um, they're both catalyst healers, right? But she's giving me those vibes. Um, especially with the painting, you know, like some people say art soothes the soul. So I could see her using her painting to heal people, right? So I think she's going to be a catalyst healer, five star. Now it comes to element. There's a bit of red, but I think that's like a <laughs> red herring. I think she's not going to be fusion. That's, that's just like a, an undertone when it comes to the entire design. She's more on the blue side. Uh, so actually, I think she might be glacial. So I think she's straight up going to power creep. Um, she's straight up going to power creep Baijiu. I think she's going to be a glacial healer. Um, if you look at what we currently have in the game or what we recently had, we received a character like... Okay, so you know what? We have Jinshi. Jinshi needs us to do a uh, coordinated attack, right? The problem is that she gets less points when it's a character that is of the same element, right? She's spectral, and so she gets less points from Verena because she also does spectral damage, right? So I feel like Jeji could be a coordinated attack Glacial Catalyst support healer that will be able to work with Jinshi better while power creeping Baijiu. That's my call. Uh, but then, who knows? That's what I believe. Alright, so that was the first character. The second character is Shangli Yao. Um, I believe Shangli Yao, we actually met him in the game. I think he was in the Institute working with Mortifi. I'm pretty sure. I might be wilding, but I think that's what happened. Uh, when it comes to how he looks, obviously he has that mechanical arm. There's a lot of blue, a lot of white in here. Um, okay. As truth seekers, we gather a universe from within a nutshell. I would love to hear your insight. He's, he looks like a very soft boy. He looks like, um, I don't know, he kind of looks like a, a Korean pop star. You know what I mean? Um, it, but I'm not super into his design. I, I just don't really like the, the jacket thingy going on here. I think his face is pretty, but that's pretty much it. Also, I think, is this the first time we have uh, the resonance? Uh, mark being on the hair. That's kind of new. Did we see the resin mark for her? Uh... Oh, it's right there. It's white in here. On the glove. That's pretty cute too. I like this actually. I like this a lot. Especially with the, the fingerless sleeves, I guess. That's really cute. I like this a lot. Okay, so going back to him. It's on the hair. Fair enough. Astrosticker, blah, blah, blah. Huachiro Academy's principal investigator, Shangli Yao, displays exceptional expertise in various research fields despite his young age. His gentle but rational soul, embracing unique insight and commitment to the research of automata mechanics. Interesting. Okay. So, what I'm thinking of when I see him, um, I could see him being a pistol user. Uh, but I guess it's just like the pose. Like, if you put a gun in that hand, that looks like a pistol user pose. Uh, the other option I could see, I think the problem right now is that we don't have any... Do we have a five-star pistol user? I don't think we do. So I could see him being a five-star a five star pistol user, right? Um, we do have five star here. One, two, three, four, five. There it is. Um, so that's an option. Now, the other thing that kind of comes to mind, uh, and if we stick with the idea of power creep, what if there is like, yeah, there's a little bit of white, but it's not really yellow. It's not really, I don't know. It doesn't give me spectral vibe. I could actually see him being a gauntlet user. Because I think at the moment we don't really have that many gauntlet users, right? We have Jan, uh, um, Jian Shi. We've got e... Yuan Wu. And we got... Oh, three is kind of good. But that's still the lowest amount, I'm pretty sure. And we got... Uh, what's his name? Um, Lin Yang, right? I feel like with the blue, the dark blue, he could be electric, 
right? I think he could actually be Electro. So I could see him being an Electro DPS or like an Electro off-field coordinated attack character. Like I could see him being a power creep to Yuan Wu the same way that Baiju is going to be a power creep. Uh, Zhijian. Zhijie. Zhejie. What's her name? Jeji is going to be a power creep to Bailu in my mind, right? Uh, to Baiju, sorry. Jesus Christ, it's too many names. <laughs> so, um, I could see that. So, to me, is, either, is there going to be a first five-star pistol user? Probably electric, because I, this gives me electric vibe, especially with the scientific aspect, the arm, right? And there's something like mecha that sends me to, like, electricity. Um... I don't really see any other kind of element in here. Maybe Spectro. I don't really see it. But maybe Spectro. My first guess would be Electro. Either Pistol user or Gauntlet user. I mean, it literally has a mechanical arm. So maybe that could like transform into a big Gauntlet or just be like super strong or something. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to sp skip him. Uh, pistol and gauntlets are not my favorite types of weapons, so if he ends up being what I think he is, I am going to have to skip. Also, I've been using all my resources for Yinlin, then Jinchi, then um, Shangli that's going to be coming up. So I'm probably going to have to skip him. Now for Zheji, I kind of want to get her, um, but I feel like... That's gonna be tough. I'll try to get her. I need Cheng Li. Once I got Cheng Li, I'll try to get JG. If I get her, great. If I don't get her, it's a bit sad, but it is what it is. This guy, 100% gonna skip. So yeah, that's my thought. That's my prediction. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know whom amongst those two characters you prefer and tend to pull for. And um, yeah. I'll see you next time. When it comes to those characters specifically, I'll probably do another video when we receive information on the banners so I can tell you whom I think has the best pool value. So yeah, I'll see you on the next time. Take care. Do join me on twitch.tv slash kittycathy or as well as discord.gg slash kittycathy to join the community. All the good, good. And I'll see you later.